long as we got long as we got Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my... Oh, we're so far away. Ay, ay, ay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, New Wig Hootis. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have a new hairstyle. I was rocking the curly hair for a while. Um, and plus, there's a few extra videos because I filmed a lot. You guys will see with the curly hair. But I just got this one from Amazon as well. So, how do you guys like? I like it. I haven't done straight long hair in a while. But, anywho, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a Ulta slash Amazon haul. I have some makeup, some hair products, body, hair, and all, some, all that jazz, like I said. So, I have lots to share with you guys. I'm super excited. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, I have this box right here with everything that I got. How to get that thumbnail real quick, but um, I have this big box here with everything that I have, so we're just gonna jump in. Okay, so the first two things I got are these Freeman Feeling Beautiful face masks. I've actually tried everything in this box because I filmed uh, Get Ready With Me First Impressions, which will be linked down below for you guys. I'll have it in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. Of all the products, trying out most of these products on camera, I tried these um, last night. We're all not last night, like last week. I did one last night. I've used each of these two times and I love them. This first one is the uh, Deep Clearing Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask and Cleanser. Oh, this feels bomb. It smells so good. Something about Manuka Honey, guys, I'm telling you, because when I used to use Shea Moisture and they have their Manuka Honey hair mask, that smelled like heaven on earth. This smells like heaven on earth part two, so I really like this mask. My skin feels really good. It definitely refines my pores. Um, it says, yeah, deep cleans and absorbs oil without over drying, and that is what I need needed because my skin has been super dry, but I still get very oily around my nose. I just have an oily T-zone, so I have combination skin. Um, and it's been extra dry lately, so I'm actually going for a facial tomorrow, a hydrating facial. But anywho, I've been using this to try and, you know, not dry out my face as much. It doesn't claim to be moisturizing, which it's not really, but it definitely helps with not drying out my face, but removing the oils from my nose. And I use this all over my face. And then I have this pomegranate um, revitalizing peel-off gel mask. My skin will look bomb after this. But, and then it also smells good. I love the smell of pomegranates. So I love it. I'm just trying to see what it claims to do. Okay, so it uh, instantly purifies and refines pores for youthful skin. I use these back to get back, and I love them together. Staying on skincare, I got these Bior um, Deep Cleansing Pore Masks. I love these pore masks. I only use them once a week before I was using them twice a week, and a mud mask to help get rid of my pores. But since I've been down here, it's been very hot, actually. Um, not as cool as Jersey was. It's definitely like 70, 80s down here, a lot warmer. Um, and we get warm up there, but not this early in the year. We don't get warm until around June if we're lucky. So, anywho, I only use these once a week, so they'll last me a while. But I love these, um, no strips. You guys have heard me talk about them, especially on Snapchat. I love posting the pores. Like, it's just so satisfying watching the pores get pulled out of my nose. I love it. It's so weird, I know. <laughs> okay, and this is the last skincare item. I got this Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Mask. I got two. They were buy one, get one half off, but um, I already used one. So I love these, guys. This is my favorite mask from them, the coconut one, and I also like um, the grapefruit one. That smells delicious, and it really just brightens my skin tone up, so I love it. I love this. So this one and the grapefruit are the best. You guys have heard me mention this brand before, but I haven't tried the whole line. This is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Oil. Um, I first discovered these. I said it's so weird. I first discovered these at Bed Bath & Beyond, but Ulta sells them. But everything is more expensive at Ulta, so I wait until they have a sale if I'm going to get anything from there. But it was all buy one, get one free. So I got the entire line, shampoo, conditioner, um, which is actually in my bathroom. Because, I, like I said, I've used these products to wash my hair and everything. So those are in my bathroom, the shampoo and conditioner. But right here I have the Curl Milk and the um, Curl Quench Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. Which I've been dying to try the Curl Smoothie to see if it's comparable to the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I'm not going to say too much because I will have a review coming up in two weeks after I try these out for a month. Um... I'll have that up for you guys. So far, I do really like them. I'm going to tell you a little bit. I really love these products. So just subscribe and stay tuned for the full review 
on the entire line. So the next items I have to share with you guys are um, from NYX. They had a sale as well. It was buy one, get one half off. So uh, the first thing I grabbed was an eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. It's the matte liquid eyeliner. Um, just in black. I was in... I was on the hunt for a liquid liner because I was using gel liner, which I do not like. Gel liner is very annoying and tricky, and I always have to get up close to the camera and end up having to cut it off. But for the next few tutorials that I was going to do, like prom and stuff like that, I wanted to make sure you guys could see how to do a wing. I wanted to include that. So I picked up this um, eyeliner. There's good reviews about it, and I couldn't find the um, NYC eyeliner. I guess it's like discontinued or something, but that was my all-time favorite eyeliner. So I picked this up, and I do like it, which you guys, um, I didn't try that in first impressions, I used something else, but I do like this liquid eyeliner, it's very good for getting a nice, small, and sharp wing. Next, I got the NYX First Base Primer Spray. I wasn't sure if they changed the formula or just the packaging, they definitely did change the formula a little bit, um, there's not a scent like it used to. When it first came out, I had grabbed it, and I had loved it, I was obsessed with it, I always used it. Um, they just changed the set, so that probably did affect the formula, but I feel like it just works ten times better, especially in between makeup, um, because I have dry skin, but I do bake my smile lines, because I smile a lot, and um, I get that creasing, which is not cute when you're close up, so um, I will bake dust off, and just to, I hate this word, but moisten up my face a little bit, Okay, let's say de-cake. Well, because it doesn't look cakey, but loosen up the powder on my face a little bit. I will spray this after I bake, and I love this primer spray. It's very hydrating. It's my favorite, so I definitely recommend this to you guys. And then the last two products I got were face products, and I got a new foundation and concealer to try out because I always use the same old, same old. So this is the NYX Mineral Stick because um, I had read out of the ABH Foundation Stick, and I was like, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. Not that it was bad, but I'm kind of side-eyeing. Norvina and ABH. If you guys follow her on Twitter, she deleted the tweet, but um, she supports Jeffree Star, long story short, and I know everyone has different views on racial preference, but if you're not black, you don't know what it's like to, you know, be called such horrible names and be called the N-word. You don't, you just wouldn't understand. So that's just my opinion. I don't want to support someone that's going to support a racist. If you support a racist, you support their beliefs. That's just how I feel. You know, how can you be friends with a racist and say, oh, well, I don't support them, but why would you be friends with someone like that? So anywho, you guys know all the things that he has said. Um, I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, I'm just right now side-eyeing Norvina and the brand right now. So that's my piece. So I picked this up because I really like stick foundations. I like the coverage on them. They're definitely medium to full coverage. Very pretty and easy to blend out. I just, I don't know, I just love... Um, stick foundations and I am actually wearing it today this is my third time using it and I really like it I did a different technique um, which I will let you guys know now if you did see my first impressions I wasn't too hot about the foundation because my dark spots were peeking through but as you can see I definitely have more coverage on today and I still use the same amount I just use a different brush I, it definitely depends on the tools you use I use a different brush with it and I'm obsessed with the finish my skin looks really good. This would definitely be my everyday foundation, and I like it. I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes in a um, favorites video of mine, but yeah, so far, I like it. And then the last product I got was the NYX HD Concealer in the shade CW, which is golden. I tried this before. Um, and I think I got the wrong shade, so I wasn't too hot about it, but this is in Golden, and so far I do like it. If you want to hear all my thoughts about it, click, um, down below for the first impressions. That's enough self-promo, I'm sorry, but that will be all down below. Now we're going to move on to Amazon. Guys, Amazon has made me more of a shopaholic than I was before. This goddamn Amazon Prime and two-day shipping, and right now it's free because I'm a student, so if you're a college student, um... Hook up with a student prime, sign up for a student prime, it's like the first six months are free, and then you only pay six dollars after that, so I'm pretty sure I have it right, but so let's talk about the first thing I got, which is this wig from Amazon, which I will have a review on my next video, um, which will be up on Sunday, I'm going to have a review on the curly wig that I've been wearing, I will have that up, I got that from Amazon, and then I have the straight one, which you guys will see in like two or three weeks, but how do you guys like it? Let me know if you want to see a review, detailed review and all that jazz. But yeah, I have been 
doing a lot of shopping on Amazon. Amazon has a lot of things like hair, makeup, everything's up there. Maybelline sells a lot of their new releases on Amazon first, actually. I've noticed that they'll um, be launching a new product and they'll have the Amazon link and nowhere else, so... Amazon is definitely the plug, the go, okay? So, anyhow, after I got the wigs, I was like, okay, I need some things to apply it. And you guys know, I just stepped into the wig game a few months ago, didn't know much about it. So, I wanted to make my wigs look more realistic, so I was experimenting with that. I did videos on, like, how to wash it and curl it and stuff, so, you know, it looks more real, so you add density. So, after, like... 300 YouTube videos later, um, I found how to apply it, beginner tips and all that stuff, which I'm going to work on a video for you guys, but I need to make sure that I feel secure with sharing my tips for you so you're not walking around looking busted, okay? I have been, it takes a lot of practice and work to lay your wigs down and make it look good, which I still have some work because I always like glue the baby hairs down and have to wait till the next day to pick it up, but... But that being said, I had to get some got to be glue, and I'm definitely going to try and find another glue because this, I didn't take out my edges because, I don't know about you guys, but my lace front wigs, I only leave on for about four to five days. I'll take it off, let my scalp breathe, oil my scalp, oil my edges, so I've been combating any breakage that I would have. I haven't noticed my edges are getting pulled out because I use a mix of castor, olive, and coconut oil in a bottle and I apply it so I haven't had any problems with gotcha wee glue um, pulling out my edges but it's just so damn messy like it gets flaky so when it says um, non-stick, non-sticky, no flakes, crazy hold, you lied because my hair will be so flaky when I take this off and also like I said I end up gluing the baby hairs down sometimes so when I'm pulling it off in the morning it's flaky and then I'm like I have water on my hand and I'm trying to you know get the flakes out like that so it's very annoying so this gets flaky and I just really don't pay attention which is bad because I need to start but I got a double pack by accident so I'm kind of going through it fast because I've been lifting my wigs up especially when I exercise I'm like my wigs will start to lift because all the moisture I guess so I'm just sweating because I go ham when I exercise so I've been going through these kind of fast but if you guys know of any good hair glue that will, you know, rip out your edges or be flaky, well, my only problem is flakiness. So if you have a good hair glue that's not flaky, let me know, please. <laughs> Next, I got some clips, which are open, but this is what they look like. These are the best clips I have ever tried. Let me get a little closer for you guys. I hope you can see in the ring light isn't washing it out. But these are like mini duckbill clips. They hold the hair so good, so nice and secure, and they don't rip out my hair. I don't know, just something about these clips, and it has little teeth on the side. These are just the best clips I've ever tried. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Next up, I got a primer. Um, this is the Milani Prime Perfection Primer. Um, it's supposed to be hydrating. Not that hydrating, it feels like more of a smoothing primer, but I go into detail, um... I said I wouldn't mention it, but I'm sorry. In my first impressions video, I go into more detail. But, um, yeah, I'm still kind of on the fence with this. And you don't get a lot. I'm almost out. I haven't been using it that long. But you get 0.68 fluid ounces. Usually you get an ounce of primer, I believe. I'll look. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. I got that off Amazon. I did Amazon Prime. It's only, like, a dollar and some change cheaper. But I do Amazon for Ebates. Some things I do get money back for. So I'll have ebates link down below if you guys want to sign up you get ten dollars if you sign up so get that ten dollars and go shopping but um yeah so that's why i get a lot of stuff on amazon versus like the actual milani site and then ulta is just expensive next i just got some aquaphor um i don't know if i ever told you guys but i do have eczema it hasn't flared up knock on wood in a while certain scents and products and fragrances will make my eczema flare up but um so far, it's been good, but my dermatologist had recommended me to use Aquaphor to moisturize my skin, and it is a very thick and moisturizing moisturizer, and my niece uses it because she has eczema. It worked pretty well. So next up, I got two oils for my hair and skin. I have the Bertoli Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I actually have a separate one. I always end up buying two olive oils because I need one for in the bathroom. You don't want to, like... Um, contaminate anything and transfer it back and forth that's nasty so I have one for um, hair and skin and then I have one for cooking because I make everything with olive oil so I like to use olive oil and my hair as a pre-poo and mix um, 
as a deep conditioner and to seal moisture in. Very moisturizing. I love olive oil. And then I have castor oil to promote growth. I use this on my brows, which is why they're thick as hell. But um, I'm trying to let them grow out a little more so I can shape them. And my lashes, they have really been helping my lashes. So I'm going to get close so you guys can see. Oh, okay. This isn't going to work. But, like, look. My lashes have just grown a lot. I used to just use um, coconut oil or just olive oil on my lashes. Only olive oil, but I was like, I'm going to get some castor oil. It doesn't smell that good, but it definitely gets the job done. Like I said, I put it on my edges, and I haven't experienced any breakage from it. I guess this is combating it, but my edges still like seem to be growing. My hair is still uh, strong. This has really made my hair stronger, as I can see, which is good but bad, not bad, but it's annoying because new growth, you know how stubborn new growth can be. Oh, so that has definitely thickened my hair, but, um, I know mine, at least it's growing and healthy. I'm probably going to end up chopping it off anyway. I'm always cutting my hair. I like it short. But while it's under the wigs, I'm like, okay, I'll let it be and do its thing. But yes, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend castor oil for growth. And I also ordered avocado oil, but I haven't got it, which just reminded me. I need to get that update, look at that update. But I got avocado oil for my skin because I like to seal my moisture in, not only on my hair, but on my face. So I'll apply my moisturizer, which is the Ahava moisturizer. I had the body lotion, which I got in my FabFitFun box, and I ended up falling in love with the brand. I looked on... Uh, looked it up, made sure it was cruelty free, and saw what other products they had. And Ahava means love and Jewish, which is really cool. Well, Hebrew, sorry, which is very cool. So I got the moisturizer, and it has been very good to my skin, very moisturizing. So I like, I need that extra moisture, not just like, but I need that extra moisture. So I, I would seal it in with coconut oil. Coconut oil is a great sealer. It's not a moisturizer, so if you're using it as a moisturizer, stop. It's a sealant, okay? It seals moisture. So I will do that. But I heard avocado is really good for like brightening, hydrating um, a lot more, which I, anything to add extra hydration, which um, would be good. But I'm waiting for my avocado oil. That's the whole point of that. And then the last two products I got off of Amazon were the Eden Body Works. I've only ever tried their hair conditioner, their deep conditioner. And I wanted to try more, but I'm not really rocking my natural hair. I'm doing a lot of protective styles. So, as I go, I have these natural products, but I'm not really using it. But my grandma is natural, and I can use it on her hair. So, anywho, I got the um, treatment mask. I wish I would have got the deep conditioner because I'm not a fan of masks. They're hard. They're not that moisturizing. Like, they'll, moisture, they'll moisturize your hair, but when you rinse it out, you feel like you need that extra moisture. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my hair will feel, it'll be moisturized, but it won't feel soft. That's what it's missing. It won't be soft from the mask. So, I like, um deep conditioners that are liquidy and then silky and when you wash it out your hair is moisturized and soft. I also got the uh, revitalizing conditioner. I like to use conditioners as leave-ins because sometimes leave-in conditioners are not as watery for me because my type of hair it's very thick and I need water-based products to really moisturize and um, penetrate the strand so I use conditioners because that just seems to work for me. I haven't found a good leave-in conditioner. So I'm excited to try these. I'll have, okay, I probably won't link all this down below because that's a lot to link down. But a simple auto search or the Amazon, put it into Amazon and you will find everything. And then, oops, I lied. I thought this was the last product, but these are really the last products. Um, I got two books from Amazon because I love to read and I have some downtime. I only work about three, four days. So this first one I'm very excited to start reading is The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. Or Rupi, I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but I read Milk and Honey and I fell in love. I always loved poetry. Fun fact about me, I, I write a lot. I write um, short scripts like short movies, short films, and I write, I used to dabble in poetry, but it just didn't, like, <clears throat> there wasn't oomph to it, like, I wanted to do slam poetry, but I'm not that good, so I write, and, um, yeah, and I started writing a book, so I write scripts and all that stuff, but I fell in love with her book, and that actually inspired me to get writing again, and I would write a little bit, and just lately I've just been so happy that I've been writing non non-stop, and it's so annoying because I'm a Pisces, I'm a night owl, so I will be up until like 
four in the morning writing which is so annoying because I need to be sleep because I like to get up early and not waste my day but it's so hard because when your creativity is going and the wheels are turning you can't stop like you just can't turn it off so it's annoying and I'll find myself like I'll put my phone down and I'm like okay I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll start like thinking of the script and it's like playing out in my head and acting out and then I'm like oh I could add this I could change this and then I'm like up and it's so annoying so this is part two to milk and honey I keep getting sidetracked but this is part two to milk and honey and oh my gosh I'm so excited to read it I love her books and this one's bigger so a little longer but I like her poetry you can definitely relate to some parts or all the parts in the book and it just touches me so I love it and I'm super excited to read this book and then I also got pillow thoughts which is recommended and I'm excited to read it and it's just like milk and honey it's the same way it's just short poems and it's about uh, heartbreak love and raw emotions I'm obsessed with love like even though my love life is non-existent but I love reading about love writing about love um, you know past experiences and all of that jazz and I'm telling you guys but I'm never releasing any of my work so sorry if you were interested but yeah I never really say any of the work that um I write it's just a way it's my escape it's how I get my feelings out people draw to get their feelings out I can't draw for shit so I write um but yeah so I love writing about it reading about it all that jazz so I'm super excited if you guys have read these books let me know how you liked it don't do any spoilers just let me know if you liked it um because I really look forward to reading it all right guys so that is gonna wrap up today's Ulta slash Amazon haul I really hope you guys enjoyed um I did get a lot of stuff so hopefully hopefully this video is not too long also it's very late I'm tired I want to go to sleep really bad but I need to film so sorry if I was like all over the place just imagine having a conversation just feel bad for my friends because I go all around and then go back to the topic of what we start of what we first started talking about let's go thank you again for watching okay this hair is like ridiculous okay to read these books if you guys have these books or read them let me know but my dermatologist had re recommended wow I'm like stuttering so bad but my dermatologist had my dermatologist dermato my uh, to pay more attention because I got a. D Are you here to rescue me? Are you here to go and get a check for me? Are you here to build a dog? Or are you here to bounce some ball out when it get hard? Are you here to make sure right? Are you here to loan me a chest when I cry at night? Are you here to set me up, get me high, turn around, and just leave my life? I told him that. But this is the Maui Moisture. Oh. But this is the Maui Moisture Co- uh, Okay. So you guys probably have heard- Okay, so like I'll do this the night before I have somewhere to go and- Oh my gosh, it just- My skin looks so good. And, excuse me. But anywho, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this- uh,